What do you think about dating apps? Mm-hmm. Um, I've never really been a fan of dating apps. Um, I feel as though people are only going to display the best things about themselves um, on the dating app to kind of like draw you in. And once they draw you in all of, of all of the positive aspects of their of your life, once you keep talking to them, it just You're goes like, left. Oh, right. Wait a second. Red flags. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would agree. I think that's a good point that you said that it's just pretty much a highlight reel of your mm-hmm. life trying to reel them in yep. and then they take a bite and you're like whoa wait a second right. <laughs> wait a second i don't want that um okay let's get into the reaction video for this i'm really against dating apps i really am against them and the reason why i'm against them is because it feeds the idea that there's so many fish in the sea and the moment you think that there are so many alternatives and options you invest less in whatever you have that's just life. If I have lots of cars, I won't care about one car. You know, I, yeah. if I have lots of things in the fridge, I, things end up going moldy because I forget about the things that I've got so much there. And the moment you train your brain into thinking that there are so many alternatives to whoever you're talking to and whoever you're with, when you've trained your brain to that way, even if you don't need your partner, your subconscious will let you think that you can talk to them a certain way, act a certain way, because if worse comes to worse, I'll move on. Yeah, a lot of girls out there are like well i can do better Mm -hmm. or there's probably someone out there that's better for me but i'm still gonna stay with this person because they're here but it's possibly better yeah yeah i mean just goes with this whole city girl movement that is going on right now it's just the trend it seems like i'm gonna hop from this man to that man to that man Ooh, ooh, i'm the best (laughs) out here it's got monkey branching by the way monkey monkey branching branching. oh wow yeah i like that term (laughs) it's just i don't i honestly i don't understand it i mean instead of being like oh let me look at this relationship um if i'm not getting everything out of the relationship maybe i should take a step back and look at the relationship on like outside eyes let me look at myself as a person like let me look at my partner as a person and let us look at each other as like a couple you know and just try to figure it out instead of being like oh this Mm -hmm. person he did something i didn't like exactly time for me to leave next yeah yeah ariana grande oh thank you next Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and look at her we don't talk about her right now oh yeah let's (laughs) not (laughs) but (laughs) yeah so yeah i think that's a good point let us know what you guys think in the comments um can we get into some questions i got a question are participating in dating apps good for our mental health i don't think so heck no (laughs) you're not i feel like it's just similar to social media where it's just like you have your highlight reel you have everything at your disposal it's just not it's not real you know Mm -hmm. and i think that's one of our biggest problems now is like nothing's real Mm -hmm. we eat isn't real the people we talk to online are possibly not real Mm -hmm. the things that we say on social media are probably not things that we would really say in person hair is not real yep so yeah what do you think what do you think taylor (laughs) um i definitely do not think that mental i mean um dating apps are good for mental health basically what you were saying it's true everything is just um superficial um and once it's just superficial and it's like if you have all these different people that you're talking to on the dating app let's say if you have 10 and like nine out of the 10 just stop talking to you what is that going to do your self-esteem oh yeah what is wrong with me? What happened with that? Instead of looking to see, oh, maybe these people who are on these dating sites right now, maybe they're married. Um, no, maybe you they're don't just, know. Right. You don't know. You don't know. You do not know. You don't know why they stopped talking to you. But just because they stopped talking to you, you're going to take a hit on your self-esteem. And if you take a hit on your self-esteem too many times, you're going to end up attracting men who feed off of a low self-esteem woman. Wow. Ooh, oh, dropping no, so. some gems over here. See, you're doing great. You're all nervous. Yeah, yeah. And now you just <laughs> natural Tay over here. One of my male friends got a date through a dating app. It didn't go well. He takes a good photo, but is less impressive in person. <laughs> <laughs> Get him. Get him. <laughs> Unfortunately, his date didn't feel any chemistry. Oh, I wonder no, what his profile looked like. So man probably had some burberry glasses on Burberry, you know (laughs) (laughs) 
Taylor is very well spoken. Is that from your husband? Thanks, husband. <laughs> And we're back. But before we continue, make sure you like for the algorithm. If you have not already, Sonia says profile photo fooled her. She was all in over the phone and he reported that they had great conversations. <laughs> Dang. So she was catfish? Is that? It sounds like that's what <laughs> happened. I'm so sorry. Uh oh. 